Chuck Gerard came around Calvary Chapel back in the early 70s with the love song. And uh, his music just inspired a generation of young people to just really love the Lord and serve the Lord. Well, back in the early 70s was quite a while ago. And people said, what happened to the Jesus people? Well, they grew up. I mean, uh, they're no longer teenagers running around, but they're grandparents now. And so Chuck has his daughters and his granddaughters who have formed a music group and so Chuck is going to introduce his family to us who are going to treat us tonight with special music. Well thank you Pastor Chuck and thank you folks. What a fun occasion for us as a family tonight. I am the grandfather and the father of the brood you're going to see in just a minute. Just to give you a little background, <clears throat> about a year and a half ago, uh, one of my daughters, who has played here at Calgary uh, from time to time, Elisa, who used to be in the group Zoe Girl, uh, came to play. And little did I know, they had this surprise for me on the Sunday night service. They actually made me stay at the hotel. They said, you need to babysit the grandchild because we, got, you know, we need somebody to watch the, the boy. So I came to the service and didn't know what was going on. And Elisa started, first of all, by singing the, the very first time that I ever heard, by the way, one of my kids sing one of my songs was Elisa singing Little Pilgrim. So I'm sitting out there in the audience having a Kodak moment, as you can imagine. <laughs> and uh, about halfway through, these other three women come on stage. And I thought, is that Kathy Gibson? Or who is that? Well, who's, who's coming and, you know, invading Elisa's space? She doesn't need any help. And then all of a sudden, I realized it was uh, one of my other daughters and my two granddaughters who then commenced to sing sometimes Hallelujah. Well, Pastor Chuck liked it a lot. And he said, uh, we need to get those girls in the studio sometimes. So we just did that. And uh, just, just uh, last week, the record was finished and, and manufactured. And we have it here for you tonight. And uh, so I get the uh, wonderful occasion to introduce the girls who will be out in just a second. Uh, and they wanted me to make sure. You see, the other little side story here is that for 40 years, Pastor Chuck has called our group The Love Song. Now, we took the the off a long time ago. We're a love song. So I told the girls, I said, I guess you can figure on about 40 years of them calling you the Gerard girls, even though their name is actually Gerard. So I'm going to run the tracks. I'm going to go down to the front here. And uh, in just a second, we're going to present to you Gerard. Oh 
mercy's gonna come It better come in a hurry second to say hello and uh, introduce ourselves. So we're Gerard, obviously. Not the and, Gerard girl. Uh, <laughs> just Gerard. Uh, so I'm going to introduce everybody. I'm Lauren, and this is my aunt, Nikki. This is my mom, Kristen. This is my sister, Kaylin, and this is my other aunt, Elisa. And we're really... Uh, <laughs> and we feel really um, privileged and honored that we could come and sing for you guys tonight. So our next song is called All For You. As long as I have breath in my lungs, I will tell the world about what you have done. This is all for you.
having a good time so far? I just wanted to take a minute to set up this next song. I'm going to read you guys out of Psalms. I have my trusty pencil to keep my place, so I've got to find it. Anyway, this next song is called New Song. And I'm going to read Psalm 43, and it says, He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. And I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background on the song. It's a song that I wrote, and the cool thing was it, it came out of a time where we were worshiping at church, and, and it was just kind of like a spontaneous moment where like our band was just doing a little thing, you know, kind of spontaneously on the side, and the Lord actually dropped this chorus into my, into my spirit. And it was neat because, you know, a lot of times when you write songs, you know, you can try to put it together and kind of sit down and think about it. And, and this was just one of those times where I knew it wasn't anything that I did at all. It was just completely God putting this in my heart. And um, the lyrics to the chorus, which I'm going to invite you guys to sing if you want to, we're going to put the words up for just the chorus portion. So feel free to, to join in with us. But it says, um, we lift our voice and we join to praise him. We lift our voice and we sing to you. We'll be a generation that will sing a new song. So we lift our voice to worship you. And I think that the message that God really wanted to, to speak out is that no matter what happens in our lives, and, and we all know that living a Christian life can be really difficult, and that we have lots of trials and lots of things that get thrown at us all the time. But um, in the case of Psalm 40, that was a situation where David was facing trials, and he was facing just tough times in his life. But it says that you know, he lifted him on a rock and gave him a first firm place to stand and put a new song in his mouth. And it says it will be used to, to proclaim his name. And that's what we want to do with this. It's just, I think that God really wants to call all of us to, to be that generation. And it doesn't matter if you're young or old. It's not about an age thing. But just a generation that will proclaim his name and that can forge forward even when things are tough. And um, so anyway, we're going to sing this for you. And feel free to join in if you catch on. You want to sing along with us. chosen and called to proclaim we are gathered in this place declaring your name your glory and all of your fame so we lift our voice and we join to praise you so we lift our voice and we sing to you
so much. You know, um, I'm going to try to get through this because this is super emotional for me because I'm listening to my precious baby nieces sing and it just, they just kill me. You know, I just, I'm trying to get through this whole thing without crying. Yeah. This is the first time that we have all five of us sing together. And this is the, actually the first time we've performed as Gerard. So <laughs> thank you. And what makes me feel emotional is because many of you may not know the miracle that it is that all five of us are standing up here today. And I say that because we are all works in progress. And every single one of us have made mistakes. And every single one of us have just plugged through, you know, keep on trucking in our relationships with the Lord and 
no matter what has happened, I and every single person up here are my living testimony that the word of God is true. When Jesus said, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you, I can tell you that I am living proof that that is the inspired word of God, that that is what Jesus said, because he has proved it in my life. And we're living in a time when coming into the mainstream is a lot of criticism and outright attack on the word of God outright attack on the truths of the foundations of what we believe. And that's been something that's been very troublesome to my spirit. And I guess all I want to say is that no matter who you are, just like every single one of us bring a story here tonight of God's beautiful redemption, every single person I'm looking at up here is a trophy of the grace of God and the deep and ever complex mercy that he has when we fall down before him. It's such a simple story. It's, it's God created us for his glory and then he knew in his ultimate wisdom and justice that he had to give us free will or else we would just be robots. We wouldn't be, it wouldn't mean as much. And so we took that free will and we fell and now we have a fallen nature but even through all of that, God says, I will still make a way for you because I love you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever should believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. And that precious blood that drained from Jesus' veins into the earth below the cross is something that redeems all of us if we call upon his name. And whatever story you've brought in here tonight, whatever your history, I would bet that if every person here told the person next to them their deepest, darkest secret, and then we put them all up on the screen anonymously, we would all be greatly shocked and uh, probably a little comforted to know we weren't the worst one, you know? <laughs> I mean, it, if you put us all five together, we've broken most of the Ten Commandments, you know? And like, you throw our ex-boyfriends in there and I think we've got them all covered probably, <laughs> but we've all experienced God's redemption, and he loves you, and he loves us, and I just want to, if I could say anything else, nothing else, I would just say that no matter where you're coming from, no matter who you are, Jesus is the way.
much time left And maybe we've got years But how much longer can you Go on crying all these tears I know it sounds so simple Maybe that's because it is Jesus came to save you Won't you give your heart to Him? Jesus came to save you won't you give your heart to Him? Won't you give your heart to Him? elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshiped God who was seated on the throne and they cried amen hallelujah then a voice came from the throne saying praise our God all you his servants you who fear him both small and great then I heard what sounded like a great multitude like the roar of rushing waters and like loud peals of thunder shouting hallelujah for our Lord God Almighty reigns. Pray. 
please sing this last one with us? There's only one word, pretty much. It's pretty simple. You'll catch on. Let's just lift up his name tonight. much for being with us tonight. You need to meet the other Gerard up and coming. This, this is Dylan. You want to sing? Hallelujah. Uh, 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 no. Say, <laughs> say froggy. We're froggy. That's, that's Froggy. That's Froggy. Froggy. Say, we're froggy. Say, <laughs> let's say Jesus. Yes. Say... <laughs> Say, I love Jesus. <laughs> Papa! <laughs> well, I just, <laughs> I couldn't resist. I said, everybody thinks I only play piano. No, I babysit too. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love being a grandma.